So this is the brand new AirPods 4, and this is the AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation. Which one of these should you buy, or should you even just buy the pros and get it old? Let's talk about it. It's very clear that Apple is targeting towards people who still using the AirPods 2, which I still have them here, the ones that are from 2016 to be exact. And there's no denying, in my opinion, these are the best for an AirPods. I know people are gonna say, oh, he's capping, oh, he's lying. These, when I put them in my ears, they are not flying out anywhere and there's a reason why people are still buying these on amazon for 90 bucks because if it ain't broke don't fix it and if it is broke i'm gonna buy the same one but apple don't like that. they want to give you the latest and greatest airpods experience with the airpods 3 apple completely redesigned the airpods improving the sound quality changing the shape up lowering down the stems but it reformed the way how your AirPods fit. And as much as Apple improved the sound and the features lowering down the stems and as impressive as it is, if AirPods don't fit you, everything is pretty much redundant. And I gotta tell you, this shape right here is way better than AirPods 3. I mean, this is very reminiscent to the original AirPods 1 and 2, but I can see maybe some people may not like it, but it's very, it feels right at home. I can do the shake test. I know I'm looking crazy on camera, but they're not falling out of my ears. Oh, I'm getting the package outside. Hold on, y'all. Oh, yeah. I just had a package. This video is not sponsored, by the way. But shout out to MKBHD for sending out his latest sneakers. We're going to do a shorts on these, so stay tuned for that. But um, not sponsored. I just appreciate that. And Marquez, if you're watching this video, appreciate it. I think Apple found the perfect shape for these for me. Because the thing is, when you're watching this review, just because they fit me perfectly, it might not fit you perfectly. And I think for someone who's coming from the AirPods 2 and is so used to that shape, it's gonna be a little tricky to recommend it because now if I go back to the regular AirPods 2, you're used to this shape. So this is gonna fit your ears and you're accustomed to this. So switching to something new, it feels very similar. If you like the AirPods 2, I think you're gonna love the AirPods 4. But the shape is gonna get some time to get used to, but I got used to them day one right away. And in terms of the AirPods 4 regular ones and the one with Noise canceling, I know it can be a little complicated. Easily, Apple could have called this the AirPods SE and call it a day. You're only missing out on noise canceling and you're missing out on the speaker on the case itself, which by the way, I love how small the case look on the AirPods 4. It's just a little bit more compact opposed to the AirPods Pro. And fun fact, if you compare the AirPods 4 to AirPods 2, it's basically about the same size. I'm holding them up right now and it's about the same size and that's pretty, Nice. Now, if I hold it side by side to AirPods Pro, the AirPods Pro case is definitely wider. It's definitely wider, but it's not by much. And anytime you guys watch my headphone reviews, I always test them out at the gym because the gym is a perfect place to really test out headphones, test out the noise canceling. I talk to somebody, you enable transparency mode. It just, it's a perfect way to test out headphones and it definitely passed the gym test. In my opinion, it's able to capture some awareness because some people might be trying to talk to me, but I'm so immersed into my music or the conversation I'm having on the phone that I don't even hear nothing. It's actually pretty spooky quiet. So if somebody's trying to call my name somewhere, like sometimes people call each other's name across the gym sometimes. It's like, I'm just so immersed. But with these, it's able to block out some, but not all. And added in transparency mode, it's exactly the same like the AirPods 4, basically the one without the noise canceling. Speaking of the one without noise canceling, I actually did like these. These, the fit is exactly the same. The battery life is pretty similar. But one thing that was very interesting, I would say, was the mic quality. The mic quality on the one without noise canceling sounds a bit better. Now, I talked to my friend, shout out to Tommy Lee Beats. Uh, I asked him which one sounds better the AirPods 4 or the AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation. And he told me the one without noise cancellation sounds better than the one with noise cancellation, which is pretty interesting. And I think that's gonna be a perfect segue to doing the mic test so you guys can hear for yourself. So let me put these in my ears. We're gonna start up a voice memo so you guys can hear the difference. This is a microphone test of the AirPods 4 without noise canceling. Tell me who can, catch a toucan, Luke can, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. Let me know down in the comments down below how's the microphone quality, yay, nay, dope, nope, let me know. Now this is the AirPods 4, the one with noise canceling. Tell me who can, catch a toucan, Luke can, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. Is the microphone better on the AirPods 4 with noise cancellation or the one without? Let me know down in the comments down below. Now here's a microphone test of the AirPods Pro 2. 
tell me who can catch a toucan, Luke can, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. The microphone better on the Pro opposed to the AirPods Pro. All right, guys. So after listening back to all of the microphone tests between the AirPods Pro 2 versus the AirPods 4s, I got to say the one with noise cancellation, the AirPods 4 sounds the best. And then right underneath it, the one without the noise canceling AirPods 4 and the AirPods Pro, everything sounds good. I'm going to be honest. All of the AirPods sound pretty good. Uh, if you're on phone calls or anything, they're going to hear you pretty clearly. But um, it's all coming down to the fit. The sound quality is good. The fit on the all the AirPods that I have, they fit pretty good, including the AirPods Pro. But I know a lot of people don't like the silicone air tips. But here's a consideration. Maybe go with memory foam air tips. Maybe that would work. Uh, and even so, if you're not a big fan of that or memory foam or anything like that, the AirPods 4 might be up your alley. I think it might be time to retire the AirPods 2 or the original AirPods if you guys still have those because this is a pretty close runner up though. I think they're up there. But the only caveat, the one without noise cancellation, the AirPods 4, Apple should have just called this the AirPods SE, it doesn't have wireless charge. So no wireless coils on the back. So the only way you could charge a regular AirPods 4 is through Type-C. And it's not really the biggest deal breaker in the world, but I like to have the convenience of dropping my AirPods onto a wireless charging pad or even on the Apple Watch charger. This does not support MagSafe. You can use MagSafe, but it's not gonna attach magnetically. So just keep that in mind. I just like having the convenience. And to put the cherry on top, this also has a speaker on the case itself. So if you're in an instance where you misplace your AirPods, you can be able to easily track it by pinging the sound so you guys can hear it. All right, so I'm gonna test out for any bleedage. This was something that people been complaining about. And I'm gonna put the volume all the way up. I'm gonna listen to the weekend and see if you guys hear any bleedage. I'm gonna have the microphone here, it's right here. Let me know if you guys hear anything. I'm gonna raise up the gain too so you guys can hear what's going on. Yeah, so let me know if you guys hear any bleedage or is that a deal breaker for you? To some people it is, um, if it's that loud, but wow. These sound pretty incredible. I mean, the AirPods 4, sounds phenomenal and the thing is with airpods they never sound bad it was just all about the fit airpods was only about the fit that concerned people and the airpods 4 it feels right at home i feel like it really do feel like you're back at the airpods 2. if you hated the airpods 2 you might not even like these i don't think so because you might be a fan of the silicone air tips but yeah these fit good and they sound good too wow and the microphone is pretty good too as well so AirPods are pretty good. And also these has an IP rating at IP54 dust and water resistance, which is nice. You could take a shower with these while you're on those phone calls. But before I even conclude the video, one con that I don't like about these, you cannot control the volume. <laughs> the Apple guys are listening to me. You cannot control the volume on the AirPods 4, which I think it's a miss. Like after having the AirPods Pro 2, you get so spoiled with that feature. But if you're coming from the AirPods 2, you never had that feature anyway. And the crazy thing is, Apple could do it. They could definitely add a little touch sensor to increase and decrease the volume. So the only thing you have, you just have the force touch sensor. So you can be able to skip, uh, reverse the track, play pause, activate transparency, or enable transparency if you have the active noise cancellation model so yeah and that's the only thing that kind of bothered me a little bit but other than that i recommend these airpods if you do not like the airpods pro with the silicone tips and maybe if you have the airpods 2 i'm an airpods 2 lover i definitely stand by the airpods 4 but which one should you get i would recommend getting the regular ones i mean the regular ones is going to be 130 dollars opposed to the one with active noise cancellation it's going to be 180 which is a bit of a steep price and at that point you could go with the pros because the pros is gonna be like $200 but you could get it at 190 or 170 practically the same price on Amazon I wouldn't recommend buying airpods through Apple because Amazon is just always gonna have the best deals and you have fast shipping and nine times out of ten the one without noise cancellation the airpods 4 those are gonna probably be a hundred dollars opposed to maybe 130 or it's probably gonna be like maybe 120 
it's gonna definitely be at a discounted price. So eyeball that, I'm gonna throw a link in the description. Definitely keep a look at on that. And same thing with the pros. If you're looking for the pros, you can find the best deals on Amazon and even the Maxis too that I just reviewed. So yeah, guys, in conclusion, I love the AirPods 4. I test them out for a couple of days and I absolutely love it. I love just the every little bit of it, the fit. The fit is the most important thing. The noise canceling is decent. It's not the biggest game changer for me because you can still hear a little bit of the background, but just the overall fit, the sound quality is good. The microphone for phone calls is phenomenal. And most importantly, they fit. I cannot stress that enough. They fit. They finally fit. But just like I said on the video, just because they fit me, it might not even fit you. I really feel like Apple should have some sort of demo for AirPods to find the perfect fit for them, but you can easily return them whenever you don't find a perfect fit. You can easily test them out yourself, but I would say this. AirPods 4 definitely exceeded my expectations. Also too, I am loving my iPhone 16 Pro. Then life is coming soon on this. If you guys have any questions or concern about the AirPods 4, let me know down in the comments down below. And that is where I'm gonna conclude this video. Hope you guys found this one helpful or enjoyable. If it did, appreciate it with a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think. And until next time, subscribe, like, and comment. Have a simple day.